when you hold a kid like this all the time, you're, you bring your right ch shoulder across and then these muscles sit really tight. And then your neck here is holding all the time. Yeah. And so my sister had this from ha holding the one kid. Then you're propped up on a hip. And so you start messing all these things up. This glute's not on at all. All my weight's in the left leg. That one's not really on either. I don't do this too often, do I? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, all sorts of things going on. Then you start getting long on one side and tight on the other. So your lower back gets all skew if and so on. Thank you. Thanks, Marty. Good <laughs> <laughs> And so I was holding my knees one time and I realised how much you actually have to roll the short shoulder forward and get tight in here. Now we all have issues, tightness in your chest here, tightness in the neck. Everyone gets the tightness from typing away and then you get all these tension headaches and things like that. And then you go, right, I need to strengthen my back. But if you are in this position and you keep trying to strengthen it, you, you miss out on pulling your shoulder blades back and you start working on the lats and the lats join onto your arm. So this big muscle here makes people look big and wide and they think they're huge but they just have terrible posture. And then tight neck and a tight chest. Those three muscles all roll, roll you in, get you tight and cause a lot of issues and pain and things like that. So. So my sister couldn't do any exercise, She's, this just drives me nuts, you're going to the doctor and your physio and you're waiting for scans and appointments and nothing is really giving you any alleviation and you feel like you can't even do something like a small push up to actually just start some, something, right? And then doctors say, just don't lift weights, don't do any exercise, but it doesn't really give you a solution. So the number one thing I would do is hold a bit of weight in your hand and try and relax and let that drop down and start alleviating your neck. Try and make sure your shoulder's back so you're getting longer through the top of your pec here, which joins to your clavicle, and start rolling on back. So, do you want to try that, Mel? You change this one? This one. All right, have you held eight kilos lately? I used to do. Yeah, lately? <laughs> no. <laughs> lately, no? No. Oh, I don't want you to do anything that you haven't done. Like, I just want you to do what you have done, but better. So let's just say you've been doing this for a while. Hang on to that. Yeah. Good, so you roll that shoulder back. Start taking some deep breaths. Exhale, so the core rolls back. You're gonna soften those knees. Yes, straight. See, so your, your knees are not even there. That's it, rotate it out. Good, you exhale, your belly button goes back. You tuck your glutes under. And now, again, bad posture means that your, your thumbs roll in. So you start trying to open your hand up a little bit. How's that feel? Nice stretch. Yeah. I can feel that the muscles in my forearm haven't been used in a while. So it's a nice stretch there too. So this way you're doing a getting a stretch and you haven't even changed your range of motion. Hmm. So before you start throwing your arms around, people go, I can't lift my arms up here. Um, you're just opening up without even doing anything excessive or Outrageous. Yeah. It feels nice all down there. It's really good because I haven't had much motion to try and get my head even near here. Mm. So it's hard one too. Yeah, there's different sternocleastoid muscle in there that you're trying to stretch, yeah. but to really get that upper trap loosening, some weight in your arms, pretty good. Do you want to give that a go, Danny? Try it in this side because you can see looking at you that yeah, this one's. Yeah, he's so out of alignment. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I, would, I wouldn't say it's like your spine right away, but just tightness in. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a good point too. Maybe it's this one um, isn't. So try and roll that right back. Or just stay, stay up straight. Just try and roll that shoulder back and squeeze. So a bit of engagement this one lifts up a bit. And how's that feel on your left side? It looks straight now. Does Can it? you just walk around by there one time? Maybe we should get right. <laughs> Feel better? Feels unnatural to me because I've been 
can't even for so long. Declan. I think, yeah. It looks still straight. It feels, it feels wrong. It looks normal. Okay. And I would even, I'd even be aware that this shoulder hasn't dropped. So you get a really good stretch. You can also just do small shrugs. You go right back down and really feel that stretch and open up each time. Rather than shrugging, shrugging again, this one gets too tight, it starts to create that problem. But with that unevenness, just have a go on that side. And then just come up and down without going forward. You start to engage these ones. So maybe it's the case of these ones being asleep and letting that shoulder drop, as well as that one being tense and going up too high. <laughs>